Do you ever feel you can never slice properly because your character is going too fast? If so, hit that like button because this is going to change with the upcoming Operation Blackdown update. Hello everyone, Scott Hartrod here from the Road Foundation and welcome back to another Zero Hour video in which we are going to look at the new movement speed control that will be coming with Operation Blackdown update. Again, this is being recorded from a work in progress version of the build, which means the developers are still working on it, they are still polishing everything, they are adding more content to the update, we are not going to see everything that will be coming in May 2021, and everything you are seeing here may be subject to changes as well. So, movement speed control. In the current live version of the game, you can switch between walk and slow walk by holding the ALT key. This is useful when slicing a room, since this is not something you want to do too fast, you want to be careful, you want to avoid exposing yourself too much and too quickly to the enemy, should there be one hiding in the corner you haven't checked yet. And when you need to rush towards a new location, like a new cover, you can press and hold shift to activate your sprint. The problem that I have with the switch between walk and slow walk in the current live version of the game is that it's kind of an on and off system and your character is still pretty fast in my opinion. So if you need to slice a room, I usually have trouble keeping my crosshair right at the edge of the corner or door frame, which means that when I see the enemy, my crosshair is often offset by too much and I have to move my mouse a lot more to compensate. The other problem is that to slice room, you have to tap the left or right strafing keys to simulate those short movements you would usually do with your body in real life. But you also need to hold the ALT key as you do it in order to stay in slow walk mod, which isn't really convenient if you need to lean left or right. Your hand just starts getting into some weird inconvenient pauses, you waste time and you increase your risks of getting shot. I really enjoy taking my time slicing and checking corners in zero hour, but I always felt we never really had enough control over the character movement speed, just like in Escape from Tarkov. As you can see on the footage, I found it a lot easier for me to keep my weapon sight close to the edge as I was slicing. I'm using the same sensitivity settings on both versions, same hardware and same methods, but it's just slightly slower, more fluid more realistic and more tactical on the update build. When I was testing, I was actually thinking, damn, it could actually be a lot slower. And that's the feedback I also shared with the developers. I don't know if they would make it even slower, but we will see. And you probably also noticed the new interface in the bottom left corner of the screen. The graded bar at the bottom is your current speed setting. It doesn't change unless you hold Alt and then scroll up or down. The bar above it is your stamina, something we already have in the game, and not that sprinting is actually going to consume more stamina in the future. Then you have your health, and then you have something new above the health. Those four dots basically indicate how loud you are. I haven't tested enough to understand it properly, but basically the faster you are, the louder your character is. And now you get a pretty good indication of how stealthy you are when walking around. One thing I noticed is when playing on a very slow speed is that my character didn't make any noise at all. Well, before, you could actually hear a step once in a while, especially when rotating your character or strafing. So that's pretty good. And that's even without the new third-person animations. So this new system is pretty good, and I think it makes it easier for players to play more tactically, both in PvP and Co-op. Next time, I will be showing you the new system in action on Terror House with the modded G36 and the Glock 17, so make sure to subscribe and tick the bell to get the notifications once the video is live. If you enjoyed this preview of the work-in-progress version of Operation Blackdown Update, please consider leaving a like, it helps the video getting noticed on YouTube and it helps the channel to beat the algorithm. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this new speed control system as well. I'm really curious to know what you think about it. I'm Scott Hartrod of the Rose Foundation, thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.